this is an introduction into the parts of our computer. This is the anti-vibration bar. It stops the motherboard moving around as the fans are turning. This is the back panel. The back panel stops the electromagnetic energy from the computer getting out and disrupting television sets and phone signals. This is the front of the case. The front, the case itself stops the electromagnetic energy getting out, interrupting phone signals and television screens. This is the motherboard. The motherboard controls everything inside the computer. It holds the graphics card, sound card and internet card and also stores the RAM. This is the graphics card. It controls all images and graphics inbuilt into the computer and is also good, good to use for gaming. The graphics card heats up a lot so it needs the giant fan as you can see there. This is the sound card. This particular sound card can control Dolby surround sound like the ones you have in the cinema. This is the internet card. The internet card allows you to have access to the internet via an ethernet port as you can see there. This is the optical drive. As its name suggests, it optically views CDs and DVDs inside it. This is the floppy drive, and as its name suggests, it reads floppy disks. This is the CPU's fan and heatsink. The fan and heatsink are necessary as the CPU heats up significantly. The heatsink is used to actually get the heat away from the CPU and into the fan. This is the central processing unit. The central processing unit controls everything in the computer, and without it, you wouldn't have a computer. This is the hard drive. As its name suggests, it stores everything from the computer onto the hard drive, onto a hard disk inside the drive. This is the random accessible memory. It temporarily stores the files on the computer that are waiting to be used. When the power supply is turned off, the data is deleted. This is the power supply. It controls the power that goes into the computer. These are the screws. The screws hold everything in place. These are the cables. The cables connect the motherboard to other parts of the computer. 